The first one we're going to dive into is the design system interview template that we have here. So we use the design system interview template when we're really starting out our design system or during a rollout of a design system. This interview template is really built out where you can change the questions and change everything in here to be used for any sort of design interview. But we really use this for design system interviews the most. Um, and it's kind of a framework for leveraging those interviews. We're going to kind of dive in and unpack how we can use it, how we can change it and update it for what we need. So each one of our resources that we build out will come with a little guide here on how to use those resources. So this is the design interview template. Um, and we have a little knowledge center here, which will kind of just talk about a little bit how to use this and then links to other things that we think are valuable for folks who are going through this process. So here we're linking into our intro to design and systems YouTube video and then some of the other resources that you might be using after this interview. So the way we kind of built out our interview templates or the way we think about it is we have the uh, set of interviews and we want to really review this before we go and do a design system interview. We, are, we might not be have a design system yet and we're kind of thinking about how can we implement a design system at our company and we want to sit down and interview the designers, the developers, maybe the product owners, different stakeholders and really go through this interview. So we'll have multiple interviews in this in this uh, FigJam file all captured here. We'll give the participant name and role. We'll identify them there. If we're doing it over Zoom, we might have a screenshot of them up here so we can kind of remember who we talked to. You know, sometimes it's easier to put a name when we have a face there. Um, and then we break up our questions into categories. So here you can see the default template has tooling, workflow, standards and approval, design, development, design systems, and then sort of a follow-up for anything else, catch all here. And this is the generic template that we'll go through. But like I said, we'll update this based on what is the outcome of the interview we're trying to get. If we're just starting out with a design system effort and we've never used a design system, we might remove this category here and not answer any of those questions there. Um, and we might have different questions in there that we might add. When we are going through the interview, what we do is we usually, you know, best practice is to have two interviewers on each interview. We'll have one person asking the questions and sort of guiding the interview in the Zoom call if we're doing it on Zoom. And then somebody else who's there taking notes, right? So somebody's asking, what tools are you currently working in? And as the interviewee responds, our other designer who will be on this call will be capturing all the notes and kind of going through here and adding different elements here. The nice thing about doing this is we might hear something that uh, we want to ask a question about or a follow-up question about that the interviewee might not uh, catch. So we can just duplicate these and sort of work through these. And as we go in through the categories, we can pre-stage new questions sort of organically as we're, as we're going, which is kind of a cool little thing when we do the interview capture in a tool like FigJam instead of doing something um, in a little bit more linear fashion like a Notion or even a Google Drive. Um, like I said before, a lot of these are predefined questions, which really help us kind of work through those flows. So the next thing would be workflow, talk us through your current workflow. We like to break out questions like this so we can kind of get a sense of how people are feeling about different things and things that they mentioned there and kind of pre-categorize some of that stuff. It helps us when we get to um, reviewing all the interview feedback. We have that available there as well. Another thing that's super helpful when doing, if you're recording your interviews and you're putting these, for example, on a tool like Loom or another video hosting platform that has the ability to do timestamp starting links, so a link that will start a specific timestamp, we can put that right in here as well so that when we get to these questions and we're kind of reviewing this and we're coming up with different things that we want to capture, we might want to re-listen to a little bit of what they said. Uh, maybe we maybe a note card wasn't clear and things like that. So we can add those in there. Um, a lot of these questions are really beneficial when we work through the full design system process. And that's why we put them in this template. You know, um, some of the biggest ones that we try to capture is like, how do we capture standards and approvals? Like how do, how does your team currently handle, handle standards, design and code rules? Like where is your documentation stored? Things like that. And this really contributes into the governance model or the contribution model documentation or workflow that we put together. So this is all really helpful. Good set of default questions in here. 
very easy to remix this however you want um, and you know we really want to use this as a foundational starting piece and then you know as you're going through your interview you might change this up a little bit and remix it and make it your own one of our favorite things to do is build different resources that designers can use throughout their process so definitely check out everything that we've put out there on the figma community so there's a lot of different ways to go about building out design systems, right? Um, a lot of people think it's just about building out the components and building out the right design pieces and making sure everything's connected and functioning and seamless token um, automation all the way through. While that is true, really a lot of the work is about connecting our team and getting that team alignment. And these resources are really focused about getting that team alignment. And this is part of our design systems in Figma course. So you don't need to have used the course to use these resources. They're all free in the community. But if you really want to unpack how we build out design systems in Figma from like a designer's point of view, the whole design team here at Headway put a really great course together. It's available at shipwright.design. So definitely feel free to check that out. Uh, we also have some free YouTube videos about design systems that you can check out on our YouTube page. So just lots of resources out there, uh, depending on what you're looking for. All of these resources are free in the community. Just search Headway on the Figma community. We've got some other resources out there as well, like UX audit templates, building customer journey maps, a brand guideline template, and then of course, our free UI kit and design system starter kit. And we use these in everything that we do. And if you do use any of these or download them, we're definitely looking forward to any feedback that you might have of adjustments or things that, that work best for you or didn't work for you as we're trying to build really the best resources that we can for design systems and for designers working through their, their different product designs.